Okay guys, it's time to get to know our words for the week. Remember our goal when we read our vocabulary words in context. Context means within text is to be able to find clues um, around our words that can help us understand or guess what the word means. That's a very important skill for readers to have is be able to use context clues, clues in the text to help you figure out words meaning. Our first word this week is report. This student will report the results of her experiment to the class. So when I hear to the class, that makes me think she's going to have to present or share information. So it helps me guess that report is when someone gets up and shares or um, presents information. The actual definition for report, to tell or write about something. So again, like we guessed, Report would be to share or give information, to tell or write, okay? Telling or writing about something would be a report. Presentation. When you give a presentation, you show and tell your ideas about a topic. So again, our clues here, show and tell your ideas. So giving a presentation means showing and telling ideas. So that's pretty much how I, what I feel like the word means, showing and telling your ideas on a topic. The actual definition for presentation is the report or display. So think about that display being how you would show and tell your ideas about a topic. Educational. When you do an educational activity, you learn something new. Learn something new. These clue words help me understand educational means learning about something. So educational here, providing knowledge or learning information is what educational is. Certificate. A certificate is an official piece of paper. It is given for an achievement. So when I see given for an achievement, that helps me understand that a certificate and here's some more clues. It's a piece of paper given for an achievement. These clues down here help me know that's what a certificate is. A piece of paper given for an achievement. Our actual definition for a certificate is document er, recognizing an accomplishment. A document could be like a piece of paper like we saw in our context clues. So certificate is a document that recognizes an accomplishment or achievement. Erupt. To make a model volcano erupt, mix vinegar with baking soda. Okay, so this one, there's not a whole lot of clues in the text. We kind of have to rely on our background knowledge. To make a model volcano erupt, mix vinegar and baking soda. So if you've ever tried this experiment at home, or if you know much about volcanoes in general, you know, if you've done the uh, experiment volcano, when you mix the vinegar and the baking soda, it causes this boiling liquid to come up out of the volcano. Same thing if you have any background knowledge about real volcanoes. We know that when volcanoes erupt, okay, um, hot magma like blows up out from the top of the volcano. So those, those kind of go together with our background knowledge. We have to use a lot of background knowledge to help us understand what erupt means here. The actual definition for our erupt is to burst out. Like the baking soda and vinegar bursts out of your um, mo uh, volcano model. If you've ever done that experiment. Um, creative. A creative person is good at creating things and thinking of original ideas. So thinking of original ideas here helps me understand a creative person as someone who can think of original ideas. Okay, Creative, inventive, and imaginative. So coming up with those original ideas. Impressive. These are impressive models. They are well done and took gr uh, took skill to create. So when we hear that they are well done and took skill, that helps me understand impressive means something that's very well done. Something that would take skill to create. The actual definition of impressive, creating wonder and amazement. So if your project is impressive, then that means that people would be amazed or it would create wonder 
and people checking out your project if it was impressive. Charts. Charts such as tables, diagrams, and graphs show information. So in this example, they actually give us examples of what charts are in the text. So those are very good context clues. When it says charts such as, such as helps me understand they're probably going to give me some examples. So charts could be tables, diagrams, and graphs. The actual definition of charts, information sheets with tables or graphs. So that is your vocabulary for the week. You guys have your list. You guys will complete your vocabulary flipbooks. But now we're getting to be pretty familiar with this. But just to review, on the front flap you get the word report. It also gives you the definition. A report is to tell or write about something. So on the inside of your flipbook, you use your word in a sentence to show me, to show your teacher, that you understand the word well enough you can use it when you read or when you write. So if I'm using report in a sentence, I might say, I wrote a report about Michael Jordan, since we learned about his life last week. So I wrote a report about Michael Jordan. Now, in this box is where we draw an image, a little sketch here, that would help you understand what the word report means. So I might actually draw a little piece of paper with writing on it. Okay, and at the top, I'm going to give it the title Michael Jordan, because that's what my report was over. Okay, so my picture is going to help me remember that a report is a written, okay, what does that actual definition say? Um, to write or tell about something. So my picture help, here helps me remember a report is to write or tell about something. I wrote a report about Michael Jordan. So you're going to complete these steps for the other words on our flipbook. And if you finish this, you may work quietly on one of your other um, workstation choices until Miss, uh, your teacher is finished with reading group.